In this video, we're going to show you how to do a basic network scan with Nessus. The first thing I need to do is sign into Nessus with my username and password. And we're brought to our scan window when we sign in. So I'm going to click on create a new scan. And I want to perform a basic network scan. And you'll see here under vulnerabilities, the very first entry is basic network scan. So we click on it. I give the scan a name. I want to make sure to give it a name that I'll remember later on what it is. Then I can give it a description. Notice here, I've noticed, give it a description of what the scan is and also what it scans and when it runs. If I have a fol folders, I can put it in a folder. And then I need to put in my target range. Target ranges can be IPv4, IPv6, they could be CIDR blocks, they could be ranges, they can also be host names. In this case, I'm going to put in a scan range. I can also upload my target range using a file. Now, this is a basic network scan without credentials, so we're not going to add credentials. I'm going to click on Schedule, and I say I want to run this daily at 9 a.m., and we're going to do this central time every single day. Now, our scan type, we can do common ports or all ports, we can do custom. We're gonna leave common ports for now. Under assessment, we can also turn on basic web application scanning if we wish to. We're gonna leave it as just the default. We go to report, we can change the verbosity. We can tell it to show missing patches that have been superseded. That's the default. We can hide plugins that are dependency plugins. We can allow users to edit the scan results. We can designate hosts by their DNS name. We want to tell it to display hosts that respond to a ping. And we can also, if we want to, tell it to display IP addresses that don't respond to a ping. I can change it so we scan for low bandwidth length and slow scans down. We can also set custom. You'll see here our performance options are 30, si 30 simultaneous hosts at a time, four checks per host, with a five second network timeout. I click on save and you'll see here, our scan has been created and it will run tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm gonna click on the launch button to launch the scan right now. It's now preparing the scan and you'll see that it's running. And I can click on it and you'll see I'm beginning to get results. And we'll have results in just a few minutes. Okay, our scan is finished. You see here that we've got our six hosts here. Six hosts were identified, and we can filter on them by using the filtering option. We can click on vulnerabilities, and we see here we've got a list of vulnerabilities. They're organized by category. Now you notice this is critical, so that's a set of critical vulnerabilities. This is mixed, so this is a series of both critical, high, medium, and low vulnerabilities. We can look, click on it and look at it. Here under remediation, it advises some remedi remediation activity that we can engage in. So it says run yum update here, run another yum update, and run another yum update. And history, you'll see here where our history is. As we run additional scans, we'll get additional data.